Good evening, and welcome to The Three Texts. I'm your host, Bob Fairbairn, and I'm joined this evening by the other two texts, Stephen Bramson. Hi, there, And Tony Tang. Hey, Bob. Say, what's going on with your sound tonight? I noticed that you're in a different room, and it doesn't sound like you're using that same microphone that we normally use with you. That's correct, Tony. After our last show where we recorded kind of a behind the scenes of how we do our shows every week, we thought we would do a different take on that this evening and go to where like other people are recording shows. So tonight I'm on an iPad Pro on a stand in front of me and I'm currently using the internal speakers and the internal microphone on the iPad Pro. Okay. Well, how about you, Stephen? It sounds like you're on a different audio setup as well. Yeah, so I'm just using the built-in headphone jack and the built-in microphone on a MacBook Pro. Well, I should also mention, though, that I am on a slightly different setup tonight. I am on an iPad Pro, and we're using Zoom, as you see, and I am plugged in through the iPad Pro through a USB-C connector into the Rodecaster Pro. So I've still got the normal Rodecaster Pro and microphone that we normally use, but only plugged into an iPad Pro this time. What I'm going to do here is I'll record using different microphones on the system and see how the difference in sound is. That's part of the plan for this evening. What do you guys think? Yep, sounds good. Sounds good. Let's do this. One of the first things I'd like to try on my end, guys, is I would like to take my AirPods Pro and put them in and see what happens to the audio on both ends. So it sounds like it's switched. So we hear you through the go. AirPods Pro now. So what I did is uh, flip the noise cancellation on and off on the AirPods. And it's better with the noise cancellation on. I don't hear any of the echoey noise stuff. Well, that's good. It still sounds, though, like a telephone call, right? It doesn't have that high bandwidth quality that we've been used to with clean feed. I don't know, Stephen, were you able to hear any difference between the AirPods Pro and the internal microphone? Yeah, so I thought with the AirPods Pro, your voice sounds closer, but actually slightly tinnier, I would say, unfortunately. And there are different modes of Bluetooth audio connections, right? Some are for audio phone call, and that actually decreases the amount of bandwidth available to the audio signal, which is why it sounds not as good as, say, when you were listening to music on your AirPods Pro. So you should make a note of that. It's sometimes because of the Bluetooth audio profile that's being used. What I think I'll do next is switch to a different microphone. So I'll put these away. What I'm going to switch over to now is a Shure Beta 87A microphone and a Shure USB interface. So that's just a XLR to USB audio interface that you've got there. So I have now switched over to the Beta 87A microphone with the USB interface and headphones. Cool. And that's just going into your iPad Pro through the USB-C to USB-A adapter? Or what kind of adapter do you have there? I am using the three-way adapter that gives me external power, HDMI if I need it, and USB. Well, how do you think that sounds, Stephen? I think it sounds a lot closer and also fuller sound. Yeah, I would agree. It, it sounds closer, more intimate, and uh, a deeper level of tone. The tinniness has gone away. Just by plugging in an external, in your case, XLR microphone with a USB audio interface, you were able to vastly improve the quality of the audio sound on Zoom. Zoom does offer high quality audio and you can record participants separately to separate audio files and then download those files after your meeting is done. So that's really nice to be able to have Zoom do that for you. Yeah, this makes the setup a little bit more complicated, but I think uh, the audio quality improvements are are probably worth it, uh, at least for professional work. Stephen, maybe we should take a look at your setup now. So you've been using the internal microphone on your Mac and your Shure earbuds plugged into the headphone jack. Do you want to try switching over to your Shure SM7B and the Focusrite audio interface? Sure, let me do that. So first I'll grab the microphone here. It's 
So there's the microphone in front of me, but at the moment on Zoom, I'm still using the internal MacBook Pro microphone. So now I'll go to Zoom's audio control and change that to the Focusrite. So here's the Shaw and the Focusrite Scarlet. Oh, I think that makes a pretty big difference. How about you, Bob? The room's gone. His audio is so much smoother and cleaner. Very nice. So just with a regular USB audio interface, we are all using XLR microphones, but you could just as easily be using a USB microphone, right, that has the analog to digital converter built into the microphone and plug it directly into your iPad and use it with Zoom to greatly improve the sound of your voice as it comes across in Zoom. It makes a huge difference. It certainly does. And I think using an external microphone combined with using the voice memos local recording, let me just show that briefly on my side so we can see what that looks like. So if I go back to my home screen, you can see that I have the voice memos app here, and I've actually been recording this entire time while we've been running this show. So you can see the waveform there, and I'm basically recording my microphone locally on the iPad plugged into the USB port. Let me switch back to Zoom. And so after this show, what we can do is take all of those voice memo recordings, sync them up with the screen recording, the camera recording here. I can also optionally use the Rodecaster Pro recording here, but if we're using voice memos, we don't really need that recording. So I think with this combination, you can essentially run and record an entire show with an iPad and an external USB mic and a pair of headphones or earbuds. I think one of the big advantages is that uh, it lets you be more in tune with what you're hearing with the headphones or earbuds and the better microphone just makes uh, the people's experience out there listening to you so much better. Now, how do you think this compares to clean feed? I think our clean feed recordings still sound better. Yeah, I did take a look at the zoom audio file recordings that it produced and the sampling rate at least said it was 32 kilohertz. And with clean feed, we're getting 48 kilohertz recording. So there's definitely more high-end frequencies being recorded and transmitted through clean feed. And I think that might explain some of the differences here. Uh, there might be bit rate differences as well, but for sure, I think I can hear a difference with the Zoom audio compared to clean feed. Yeah, the difference is there, but um, this is very acceptable, especially now using, uh, you know, better uh, microphone and, and headphone listening makes a big difference to me. Yeah, and I think that if you do that double ender recording where everybody records locally using an app like Voice Memos, that compensates for the fact that the Zoom audio isn't full bandwidth and as high quality as you might be getting with another service like CleanFeed. I think this has been a really interesting experiment this evening. Yeah, very interesting test. You don't have to go quite as far as we've gone. We have a little bit more equipment than you really need, but just a, a simple you know, USB microphone can make a huge difference for you. So we're all using XLR microphones with separate USB audio interfaces, but you don't really need that to make this work on Zoom. There are also other USB microphones out there that are under $100, under $200 from manufacturers like Rode, Blue, Audio-Technica, and other manufacturers that will work just as well by plugging them into the USB port on the iPad Pro or any other iPad, and then using an app like Zoom or other audio conferencing software. The examples that we're using here are taking the equipment that we already have and moving it into a different situation. If you don't have that kind of budget or you don't have that equipment, there are other USB microphones that will make all the difference in the world for you also. So you don't need to go to the levels that we maybe have gone to here. That's true. And you could hear what the difference it made when we switched from a Bluetooth headset like the AirPods Pro to an external USB microphone. That made a ton of difference right there. I am so happy. And when just listening to when Stephen plugged in his mic too, big, big difference. Well, I hope you found this test interesting of how you can improve the audio within an audio conference in Zoom or any other conferencing app that you might be using on your computer or your iPad or even your smartphone. So 
try an external USB microphone that you might already have, put on some headphones or earbuds, and hear what a difference that makes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, give us a like, and we'll talk to you next time on The Three Techs. I haven't been doing oh, it because you haven't, but you know, where we say goodbye, should we all say goodbye or just the tail person say goodbye?